Hi, my name is Cheryl, and I am a cancer, breast cancer survivor patient. Yes, I'm going back through treatments once again. Now, I was always told that whenever you're to do something fantastic in your life, you should always do it in a big way. Well, cancer is not the way to do it, for I wound up with inflammatory breast cancer, one of the rare types of breast cancer. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, we're going to add another negative on top of it. And that is the fact that I have none of the hormone receptors that are used for the current chemo medications. Bummer. So I've got two strikes against me. The third strike. Usually with inflammatory breast cancer, it is found in stage three or four, and mine was stage four, which usually means cancer is already spread through my entire body. Okay, so here we go. We're taking the journey of all the tests, meeting all the doctors, which God put a fantastic team of doctors and nurses in my life that I couldn't be going through this without them. And if you ever want somebody to pray for, that is the team of people that every hospital needs to have prayer for. But anyway, we go through all the tests. We're down to the, the uh, appointment for the education, the cancer education. And I still don't know what the test results are yet. All the scans that have been done, all the blood work, still had not received any kind of uh, response as to what the results were. And we were planning on the worst. The we being myself and my parents as I am a widow. We go through the education class and the nurse happened to ask me, she says, do you have any other questions? And I said, well, can you tell me what the test results were? She went and found out and a miracle happened. And this was the miracle right before Christmas. The miracle was the cancer was only in the breast tissue. It had not spread throughout my body. You know, with that kind of hope, you can pretty much fight most anything. My first tre uh, treatment started the Wednesday after Christmas, and I did eight full treatments two weeks apart. Yes, I lost my hair. My hairdresser and I had a wonderful time together as he cut my hair within a a half inch of my head. He cried, I cried, but you know, it's a lot easier to go ahead and do that than to lose the long locks that you usually um, enjoy styling every morning. I've come to appreciate wigs tremendously. You get up in the morning, you wash your head, you dry your head, and you put the wig on and you walk out and you look fabulous. So anyway, through the entire uh, journey, I have been blessed with so many people that have come into my life, um, people that have been mentors to me. Uh, there is a wonderful, wonderful Bible study out there called, and that's what I need to look, Dear God, They Say It's Cancer. And um, this was given to me by a friend who is not a believer. He just went into the bookstore and wanted something to help me get through my cancer treatments. And this is what God directed him to. And through that book, it took me through so many steps that I hadn't even thought of yet. Um, you know, how this is going to affect me physically, mentally, emotionally. All kinds of wonderful information in there. And I keep thanking this person over and over and over again for the wonderful gift. And he just doesn't have a clue that that was actually a gift from God through him. I'm hoping one of these days that maybe it'll impact him in such a way that he'll give his heart to God. But anyway, life goes on. I got through all of my treatments. We did the mastectomy. And oh, by the way, I worked the entire time. I wasn't going to let cancer nor the side effects of cancer get me down. Life's too short. Life's too precious. And God just would not let me just lay around and do nothing. Because I've always felt like this, I was going through this for someone else, as an example for someone else. And um, so one of the things that uh, God always did to help me get going for the day was um, praise songs in the shower. Everybody sounds better in the shower anyway. So you may as well go ahead and just throw your head back and, and just praise God through the whole thing. And pretty soon, you know, the hurts, the aches, the nausea, 
it's not so bad because you know God is right there with you holding your hand and getting you through the whole thing. Time went on, I did my radiation treatments, got through that without any blistering, which with my fair complexion, they expected that they would have to stop the treatments. But again, God's hand was in with that as well. I actually did go into remission for about four months and then the cancer came back. Again, we were afraid that the cancer had already spread through my body. Well, we did the scans, and again, the cancer was only in the same area that it was originally found. I'm still going through treatments right now. I only have six more treatments out of 24 to do, and I am so excited. I'm more excited about getting my hair back than anything. But, uh, you know, the Bible tells us that we are to be examples for others. God suffered things for us so that he could be an example for us to see the blessings that he received and the comfort that he received. And there's nothing says that we are not to do the same thing for others, whether they are believers or non-believers. Our testimony of um, laughter, of smiles, of always saying life is great is worth it all. Thank you.